Lately, we've seen a lot of news about Tesla's Cybertruck. What's clear in the midst of all the headlines is that Tesla still plans to make the Cybertruck, it will just be later than expected. It will be even better in certain ways than what they announced, but it will be delayed. At the same time, major automakers are finally getting wise to the fact that people want electric vehicles. Many of those companies also realize how popular trucks are, so we're seeing a lot more competition come Tesla's way in the electric truck space before the Cybertruck has even been produced. Today, we're going to talk about all the competition coming Tesla's way in the next couple of years, talk about which are the most promising and which have already been canceled. So let's get into it. And a special thanks to Startmail for sponsoring this video. First is the latest information on the Cybertruck. The latest rumor from Reuters says that Cybertruck production won't begin until Q1 of 2023, and Elon basically confirmed this on their most recent earnings call. This is not much of a surprise given Tesla's history of delays, but also the fact that the new factory set to build the Cybertruck still has yet to begin Model Y production and deliveries. Regarding the design of the Cybertruck itself, Tesla has removed the trim level option from their website, indicating a shakeup there, and we'll see how this affects the specs of this truck long term. My personal guess is that their 500 plus announced top range will not end up shipping at least for some time, but I'd love to be proven wrong. Their pricing is probably about $10,000 off at least for now as well, given that the starting price of the Cybertruck was said to be $39,900, and now Tesla's cheapest Model 3 starts at $45,000. Regarding the design of the Cybertruck, Tesla is adding a motor with Elon Musk saying, quote, initial production will be four motor variant with independent ultra fast response torque control of each wheel. He has also called it an insane technology bandwagon. We were hoping for some more clarity on this on Tesla's most recent earnings call, where Elon said they'd give an updated product roadmap, but really he just said it won't come until probably next year. What we should expect though for the Cybertruck is that as wild as it looks, it should be priced in line to compete with the EV truck space. It should get decent range, hopefully well above 300 miles, have autopilot, and should come with great off-roading capabilities. That initial Cybertruck will probably end up around $70,000 or $80,000, but time will tell. If you go to the Cybertruck website, you can order one, but Tesla no longer lists any specs for this truck. Many expect it to be worse than announced, while others expect them to shock the world by making it way better than announced and better than any EV we're talking about today. One significant advantage they do have is the use of their new 4680 battery cells and structural battery pack, which should bring incredible cost benefit and range increases. Most, if not all other brands we talk about today will be using battery suppliers and using the same battery technology most used today. The first truck competing with Tesla is the first truck to come to market, the Rivian R1. We've known about this truck for some time, but it's worth mentioning again because Rivian has actually begun initial deliveries of this truck. It is mostly in the hands of employees so far, but people who ordered the launch edition of this truck have been receiving their estimated delivery dates for 2022. In 2021, Rivian started delivering vehicles and closed out the year saying, quote, Rivian Automotive Inc. produced 1,015 vehicles by the end of 2021. 920 vehicles were delivered by that date. Most of those were R1Ts, but their Amazon vans, as well as a handful of R1S, S's are included in there as well. It's a low number, but it's Rivian's first vehicle and their first production ramp on a consumer product, so it's a great start. The Rivian R1T touts some pretty fantastic specs with a quad motor powertrain, crazy three second zero to 60, towing capacity of up to 11,000 pounds, and a weighting depth of three plus feet. It's truly built to be an off-road vehicle, and initial reviews have talked about it handling off-roading better than any other truck before, thanks to it being all electric and having four motors. There are lots of great features and quirks about the Rivian, including a versatile truck bed, under storage for a full spare, gear tunnel, tonneau cover, front trunk, and much more. Inside, the interior is very premium and utilizes a simplicity inspired by Tesla with the addition of the instrument cluster display. It's a great functional truck with a very good range and holds the title of first electric truck to ship. It also features their own version of self-driving called Driver Plus. The R1T starts at $67,500 for the Explore package. There are a few different features that differ from the Explore and Adventure packages, but most aren't essential, meaning that the range and speed are the same for either option. The range for the R1T is 314 miles EPA, and Rivian plans to sell a max pack option with 400 plus miles for an extra $10,000. So far, the only models shipping are the normal large pack with a 314 mile EPA range, and the max pack has been delayed until 2023 at least. They offer a few different colors and wheel options, a few interior options depending on your configuration, as well as additional adventure gear accessories for the truck.
truck. Timelines are still unclear, but to give you an idea, I put in an order for an R1T about a month ago. I ordered the Large Pack Adventure Package R1T, which is the spec that Rivian says they will be prioritizing for production, and my delivery estimate says the second half of 2023. That shows that they have a backlog of orders, and they are only going to be able to make so many up front. Most recently, we heard that they are ramping up to 200 trucks per week. Backlogs and slow production up front will be the case with all trucks we talk about, but other brands will have an advantage in the manufacturing department since they are very well established. The next electric truck coming up that will compete with the Cybertruck is one that was just recently announced at CES, the Chevy Silverado EV. Chevy unveiled the design of the Silverado EV and gave us a lot of details as to what it can do. It features a classic Silverado design, a large truck bed as expected, a cargo pass-through, large flat front trunk, and a very functional tailgate with many different options. Chevy lists a starting price of $39,900 for the Silverado EV, but this is the starting price for the WT model, which lacks many features we'll talk about. The Silverado has two motors, 665 horsepower, all-wheel drive, air suspension, optional 24 four inch wheels and more. It's supposed to tow 10,000 pounds for the RST model, get a range of 400 miles maximum, which is very impressive, and a zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. It will also support DC fast charging. Inside, there will be an instrument cluster display and infotainment screen, each of which get larger with an upgrade. Then it will also include GM Super Cruise as an option. That 400 mile range is very impressive and will surely be a selling point for this truck, depending on the cost. The most unfortunate part about this unveil though is that availability won't be until summer of 2024. That's over two years away for this recently unveiled Silverado EV, but that is in line with how long ago Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck and how long we're waiting for actual production. The Silverado EV should be a great electric truck with versatile storage options, but hopefully by the time it comes, the Cybertruck will be far along in production. We'll see. Next up is the first unveiled EV truck to be officially canceled from what we can tell, the Bollinger B2. The Bollinger B2 was unveiled a couple years ago with a bunch of features and even reviewed by some as the Tesla Cybertruck killer. The truck had some exciting features and was going to sell in the premium to luxury electric truck price range, but just got officially canceled by Bollinger and at least indefinitely delayed. Their CEO said, quote, the B1 and B2 are postponed indefinitely in order to concentrate on commercial development. As disappointing as this is, it is expected and it may be something we see from a number of the trucks we talk about today. However, I hope that this won't be the case with any of them. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Startmail. Startmail's mission is simple. Keep the private information in your emails private. Most email is free, but that's because you are paying with the information found in your email. Email companies typically make millions selling your personal information without you even knowing, and switching to Startmail means protecting and taking control of your personal information. Startmail keeps emails private no matter what with encryption on all emails emails. Deleting emails deletes them forever, and they use their own servers instead of Amazon's. Switching over to Startmail is seamless. You can easily transfer all your current email data, and then you get unlimited anonymous aliases. This feature protects your email address from spam by giving you shareable alias emails anytime you sign up with a new online account or mailing list. You can delete your aliases at any time, and then your true information won't be sold. For me, this is my personal favorite feature of Startmail, and I like how Startmail is truly secure for any sensitive emails regarding medical, or financial information. I truly value privacy, and if you do, Startmail is for you. Go to startmail.com slash ryanshaw for 50% off your first year. Again, that's 50% off with the link that's in the description below. Next up is the Ram 1500 EV. Ram has teased this car for some time now, but recently said, quote, we are preparing the EV pickup trucks for 2024, and we are doing it by adjusting the specs and adjusting the performance in function of what we see coming up from our competitors. It's a fact that we are coming slightly after them. The Ram 1500 EV is expected to hit market after 2024, but Ram sees this as an opportunity to see how other trucks perform and respond. They expect their EV truck to arrive in 2025, get a range of between 300 and 500 miles, and be able to charge 20 miles per minute at DC fast chargers. Other expected details are the capability to tow over 10,000 pounds and a starting price around $45,000 for the base model, but that has not been announced. That's a truck that will be coming after the Chevy Silverado EV, Rivian R1T, possibly Cybertruck, and the next truck, the F-150 Lightning. Many know about the Ford F-150 Lightning, and the F-150 itself is the best-selling vehicle in America. Ford has a reputation for making great trucks, and they have proven 
proven themselves capable of making a good electric car as well with the Mustang Mach-E. The biggest draw for the F-150 Lightning is the starting price of $39,974. The truck can get quite a bit more expensive from there with the XLT, Lariat, and Platinum models, but each provides certain advantages. Ford is offering two battery sizes for the Lightning, the normal and extended range. The normal battery is still very large at 98 kilowatt hours, which Ford says you can get a range of 230 miles on a charge with. The 131 kilowatt hour extended range pack boosts the range to 300 miles. You can charge at home or at DC fast chargers going from 15 to 80 percent charge in 44 minutes. The F-150 Lightning also touts an impressive feature to bi-directionally charge, allowing your truck to serve as a backup generator for your home in the event of a power outage since you have such a large battery just sitting in your garage or driveway. The F-150 Lightning can tow up to 10,000 pounds, however the standard range batteries are limited to 7,700 pounds. Ford hasn't unveiled a 0-60 to 60 time, but many are expecting a mid 4 second 0-60. to 60. It will have two motors for an all-wheel drive setup. The interior of the F-150 is largely the same as a modern F-150 with a few extras like the larger infotainment screen for more expensive models taken from the Mach-E and extremely large front trunk. That adds quite a bit of storage over a typical F-150. At launch, Ford will only be offering a crew cab with 5.5 foot bed, but they could offer other configurations long term. Ford also plans to offer their Blue Cruise semi-autonomous driving mode as an option and will offer an 8-year, 100,000-mile warranty for electric vehicle components. A big advantage here that Ford has over other companies like Tesla or Rivian is that they are already an established truck maker. It won't be difficult for Ford to make these trucks whatsoever, pending their battery supply and engineering. That's the hardest part of making an EV, so assuming they combine what they've learned with the Mach-E and their decades of truck manufacturing, they should be set up well for this truck. We'll see how things turn out, but Ford's market cap recently hit an all-time high after they announced their EV plans and increased U.S. battery output for 2025. The max range Ford has announced for the Lightning is 300 miles, which is lower than a number of competitors, but it could be more realistic than others expecting to come out the gate with a 400-mile range truck. Ford is expecting a release of the Lightning starting in May of 2022, so it's definitely one of the first. Next up is the Lordstown Endurance. Lordstown has gone through a lot recently, closing their assembly plant in Lordstown, Ohio, but lately they've picked up steam on manufacturing. The 2023 Lordstown Endurance is targeting a range of 250 miles, but not much info has been released about the battery capacity itself. It will tow up to 6,000 pounds, feature 600 horsepower, and feature a futuristic hub motor system. These motors look pretty interesting and are definitely a design draw for this truck. Not a ton has been released about this truck, but it has drawn attention for its $52,500 starting price. What's odd about those in-hub motors is that it has four of them, but apparently will cap out at a top speed of 80 miles per hour, which seems extremely limited compared to all of the other EV trucks we're talking about today. In any case, the latest on production is that Foxconn has begun working with them. Their chairman recently said, quote, electric pickups made in cooperation with Lordstown will begin shipping in the second half of this year. That would be a very early release for a truck we've heard very little little about, and has publicly failed in some tests, but we're hoping for the best with it. Next up is a truck in more of a conceptual phase from a well-known company, the Toyota Tacoma EV. The Tacoma EV is a four-door crew cab setup with a fairly short truck bed. Unfortunately, Toyota hasn't revealed any details as to the truck's range, performance, or towing capacity, but it should come in between a midsize and full-size truck in dimensions. This truck was revealed as a concept of Toyota's future electric car plans, and we should get a full reveal in the near future. Car and driver estimates $50,000 starting price and that it will come in late 2023 as a 2024 model. Next up is another conceptual truck from a well-known company, the GMC Sierra EV. GMC has revealed a teaser of the front end of the 2023 Sierra EV, and it is expected to be mechanically identical to the Silverado EV we already talked about. It will use GM's Ultium batteries, should provide a range up to 400 miles, and is likely to fully debut in 2022. They should be making it at their new Orion assembly plant that GM just recently confirmed for the US. Next up is a truck that should actually be coming very soon, the Hummer EV. The GMC Hummer EV is a huge electric truck with tons of impressive features. It isn't cheap though. The Hummer EV starts at $80,000 and goes up to $110,295 for the Edition 1 version of the truck. For the base model, which they call Hummer EV2, it will feature two motors, an estimated range of 250 plus miles, 625 horsepower, and will arrive in the spring of 2024. That version will also include GM Super Cruise as well as an optional upgrade for a longer range. The most expensive Edition 1 model was originally said to come in fall of 2021, and their website still says that, but they've only shipped an incredibly small number of them. It features three motors with a range of up to 329 miles, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, 
towing capacity of 7,500 pounds, payload of 1,300 pounds, and a number of other impressive standard features. Back in December of 2021, GM said, quote, the first 2022 GMC Hummer EV pickups have been produced at factory zero, and customer deliveries will now begin. The revolutionary GMC super truck represents the first of many Ultium-based consumer vehicles to be produced as part of General Motors' vision for an all-electric future. And they shared a video about first deliveries. That truck is impressive and exciting, but won't be available for another couple of years since it's being produced slowly and starting with these incredibly expensive models first. Last up is a truck that's worth mentioning because it's so crazy looking, the Canoe Truck. The Canoe Pickup is, quote, a purpose-built pickup truck launching as early as 2023 in the US, according to their website. Canoe is a new EV startup that claims their oddly shaped truck will feature a 200 plus mile range, 500 plus horsepower, an 1800 pound payload, six foot bed length or eight foot with extension and all wheel drive or rear wheel drive powertrain options. Quote, our pickup truck is as strong as the toughest trucks out there and includes features for people who use trucks on the job weekend and adventure. They have a number of impressive renders with great storage and adventure features shown on their website like the versatile pull out bed and flip down tables on each side of that bed. Although that 200 plus mile range is low, it's nice to see a realistic range quoted from an EV startup rather than claiming something that seems impossible right out the gate. You can pre-order a canoe truck for $100 and pricing has not been announced, but their canoe lifestyle van has a claimed starting price of $34,750 and up to $50,000, so their truck is expected to start that low as well, built on the same platform if it comes. We'll see how things go since they're such a new company, but I'm always rooting for electric vehicle companies. They say that they plan to be producing 40 to 50,000 EVs annually by 2024 and 70 to 80,000 by 2025. Electric trucks are almost here. As of right now, there actually isn't one you can get your hands on. Rivian has mostly been delivering to employees from what we can tell, and they produced just over a thousand vehicles in their first quarter of production, which was Q4 of 2021. GM delivered one single Hummer EV in 2021. The Ford F-150 should be launching this year, and the rest we talked about are hopefully coming soon. Hopefully in the next year or so, there will at least be EV trucks available to buy from Rivian, Ford, possibly even Tesla or GM, but the real availability will come throughout the next decade. It's an exciting time for electric vehicles as a whole, and particularly EV trucks. We'll have to see how Tesla's wildly different design approach goes with the Cybertruck, and I'll be sure to keep you posted on the latest for EVs. That's it for this video, so in the meantime, if you want to see the latest Cybertruck leaks and details there, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.